Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Of course, when the president said something was not staged. Oh, so just because a deaf person showed up and they had a, somebody there to sign for the deaf person? No, it wasn't staged at all. But if you want to see something staged, well, might have been the 343 dresses in the Color Convergence Project over at the Pacific Design Center during West Week, where 343 different colors created from seven primary colors. Yes, more than 343 days. We're all there for performance in opera, for live performance. So for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And Bill O'Reilly thinks Obama is too smart to not know gas prices are too high and won't do anything about it. I mean, okay, first of all, Fox News is so much in the tank for this president, you would not believe it. I mean, certainly there's a few people left on Fox that are to the right, but the most of them are kiss hats for this man. Okay, uh, here's one that didn't make even Fox News yesterday. Uh, Obama suffers major setback on health care program. Five Supreme Court justices vote to throw out a provision, um, a previous provision that was passed by Congress that enabled public employees to sue governments over health care denial. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the, and you know what the ruling was? The Congress of the United States overstepped its bounds under the Constitution of the United States because they cannot order any individual or organization to provide health care, let alone allow people that have no right to sue, sue the people for non-providing so something they never had to provide to begin with. So that didn't make it on Fox News, folks, and basically the critics are all saying that basically deals an end to Obamacare because they've already made the ruling. Congress does not have the right to order any business or individual that they have to have health care. And Afghanistan's Karzai slams the U.S. over massacre. Oh, yeah, because... Um, he didn't have to worry because if Obama had his way, Obama would ship the guy back over there because they're basically, basically trying to ruin this guy's chance for a fair trial. Well, this guy is a criminal. This guy beat his wife. This guy did this. Did, well, first of all, he would have never made top sergeant in the military if he did any of the above that the, that's being released in the news now. It would not have happened. And also, he had a $1.9 million home that's in foreclosure. Mm -hmm. Not if he was a sergeant in the military, he didn't have a $1.9 million home. They get shipped around all over the place. They are stationed in one spot. They generally don't own homes. And Disney is set to lose $200 million on John Carter. Well, yeah, because it's just, I mean, we were in discussion the fact, the fact that, that basically they're blaming it on every single thing in the universe except for the minor fact that nobody, I, I heard this thing that, they said that a third of the people in Tarzana don't know where Tarzan got its name from. Oh, really? Yeah, Edgar Rice Burroughs lived there. That was his, but he had a, uh, uh, I think he worked in a meat package place and stuff. And, you know, but uh, they also, they have, they don't even know who Edgar Rice, the majority of the people in, in Tarzana don't even know who Edgar Rice Burroughs is because there's no, uh, they don't go to his home anymore because he's a lost person. Like we're talking about, the Disney company under Walt Disney would have promoted the daylights out of it with tele using like the wonderful world of color. They would have shown you things from beginning to end. And what does the Disney company own? They own ABC. They own th four cable networks. And did they do anything of the above on the show? No. It was a bad, bad PR mistake. And Fed revises stress test losses. Well, yeah, because instead of... The, the banks didn't lose money like we said they originally did because what happened was the, this, the bank stocks took a nosedive and since Obama runs the banks, he can't have the banks collapsing on him. And North Korea's plan for rocket launch stirs regional concern. Yeah, because they're launching an, an ICBM capable of hitting the United States. And they promised Obama that it would never happen. We're going to stop all of this. We're not going to do any of this. And just as soon as they got the first got off a big shipment of everything from the United States, they broke the agreement. Uh -huh. But don't worry. I heard people said that the President of the United States is saying obviously it was a misunderstanding and that they're sending now Richardson you know, to, uh, from New Mexico back to North Korea to do another agreement so that, uh, that we'll be able to get bypassed this stumble. 
and insight. Few options for Afghan and U.S. leaders after Kandahar. Well, there's no options. I mean, not, I think the majority of the people want the military out now. The, Obama never actually intended to stay, and this is. I, I'm willing to guess that they basically took a soldier they knew that would been hurt and basically beefed him up and to the point he went out and did it because Obama needs an exit out of the area and now he's got the exit out of the area. The, the, uh, the burning of the Korans didn't do it so he had to go do something else to force us to leave and like they said when, when the Afghan government falls and the Taliban take back over and the, uh, and the, uh, and the people from bin Laden's organization move back in do you know who they're going to, they're not going to blame it on George Bush folks, they're going to blame it all on Obama, the, the man that knew how to deal with the Muslims. And Texas may be missing for eight years found and will go home. Oh, uh, I mean, how do you find some kid, but it, it, after eight years there's no resemblance whatsoever and it's not like, you know, they, I know, how in the world, if it, it was be, a baby before, how in the world, I mean, Because the only thing they have on most babies is a footprint and I don't think that they took a footprint of an eight year old. That's true. And schools, and actually, if they had a footprint of a baby and a footprint of an eight-year-old, I don't think there's a lot of similarities. Just in the, uh, in the toes would have the same, um, like, a fingerprint. like a fingerprint. But the problem is, you wouldn't be taking a footprint of an eight-year-old. It just yeah. wouldn't be done. And some states saw a spike in foreclosures in February. Um, some states. I'm going to have to. Okay, this is the oxymoron this morning. They are basically announcing uh, that Monday, of course it's Wednesday, Monday they announced record sales. Today, as they're basically saying that for the last three months, the foreclosures have been up, no one is selling anything, inventory is at an all-time, almost as high as it was at the worst when, the, forecl when the, uh, the foreclosure thing started. Well, we've had record sales for the last three months. They, they're basically on two, two different pages in the Obama administration. And Texas baby missing for eight years found yeah, and will you know, go home. Like that, I know. Well, okay. Schools getting choice on beef, pink slime, or no? Okay. First of all, everyone adds additive to the beef to make it more. It's just like instead of adding water, they're adding ammonia hydrates, which basically gives it. Uh, you know, it, it. Okay. What Obama can't understand, and, and the Democrats don't understand, you can't preserve this stupid stuff. You have to put a preservative in it. They want to take the salt out of all the canned goods. It means you can't send canned goods anywhere in the world. You preserve meat in, in, a, in stores because it has to be shipped from one place to another by additives. That's the additive they use to make it so it's preserved and you can eat it. And five killed in small plane crash in western North Carolina. And you know, somebody tried to land in bad weather, which is don't try to land a plane in bad weather at a small airport because you generally end up in somebody's field. And actor Russell Brand turns himself into New Orleans. Yeah, basically they're wanting to throw the book at him because what? Of, uh, what happened was uh, somebody took a picture of him with their iPhone and then destroyed the iPhone. He grabbed it and threw it out of threw it out of car and busted all the pieces and the person that took the pictures not, was not happy. He filed, filed multiple complaints. Now besides the thing, he's also charged Brand, since it was a speeding car, he charged Brand with, a, with a assault and battery with a deadly weapon. And Brand is going to go, he more than likely he will go to jail for some time about this. Actually, wait, wait, wait. The, the, the well, guy took a picture of Russell Brand and with, his, with his iPhone. And, the guy and Russell that. Brand, as the car was driving by, yanked the cell phone out of the guy's hand, which made it a physical assault, and then but threw the cell phone to the ground as he was speeding away. He, for all practical purpose, it was also a hit and run. They said the counts just keep going. They said the oh, only thing Brand has God. going for him is he's not an American and does throw his ass out of the country, and he'll never work anywhere again in the world. Oh. So. And longtime New York Democrat rep Gary Ackerman retiring. These people know they can't win re-election because they can't run on anything that's been done because they've not done anything. They're saying there's not a single Democrat running on Obamacare, the stimulus, or any of these things that they have done. They can't. As gas hits five dollars, five dollars and twenty-five cents a gallon in New York State, those people can't say, "Well, we're doing this for you." Okay. They're, they're, so they're not running. And Russian troops roll into Syria to support Assad. 
Don't worry though, these are not shock troops. These are just there to keep the peace. No, they're Russian, they're Russian anti-terrorist shock troops that have now been sent in and they're coming in by the boatload. Oh really? Yeah. And a new iPad smashes sells records. Well, and the iPad is basically a god-awful disaster. It can cost you $25 a day to run it because it eats up data. And there's a good possibility it will it will burn you if you hold it, or it will catch fire, or the battery will blow up. Other than that, there's nothing wrong with that piece of equipment. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. Uh, you always know when a politician is lying when a politician tells you, this event wasn't staged. <laughs> Just like reality TV. They don't have to.